Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for your, um, this is gonna be first, we're gonna cover your astrology. Um, we're gonna use the trial, so don't worry, you can just check the sign, you'll always check. And then we're going to look at um, your romantic love life for the next two weeks. So I wanna thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so we're first gonna look at astrology, then love. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna happen by Scorpios? Or, excuse me, what's gonna happen with Scorpios astrology for the time period of December 12th to the 25th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look. We got the Eight of Cups. We have the Hermit. And we have the Four of Cups, so. The Eight of Cups is a sense of avoidance. Okay, so what are you avoiding, Scorpio? Looks like you're avoiding something here. Um, some of you guys, I feel like you're, you're wanting to kind of more or less go within yourselves. And uh, some of you guys also not wanting to deal with some of the offers that are being presented or opportunities that are being presented here. Uh, something about the situation you can't ex accept. So, um, four cups also can be concerns about missing an opportunity here. Um, let's see what's going on here with the situation. So it's like you're like really focused on some type of missed opportunity here. Okay. But there's concerns about this situation. Let me just move that over this whole time. It's been slanted that way. Okay. Um, so let's see what else is going on here with astrology wise. All right. So. How is Scorpio's astrology being affected? December 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Neptune. Okay, so illusions, delusions. Okay. Trying to listen to your intuition. So you're definitely very, very intuitive. You're definitely connecting spiritually here. Ah, okay, so there's a lot of soul searching going on. There's a lot of things going on beneath the surface that you're dealing with. That makes sense because as, as I was telling you guys that uh, Rahu went into Pisces, well, it's like in the sign of Pisces right now, and it's like shining a flashlight. And what's Pisces? Pisces is like past things, subconscious mind. So it's like, it's kind of going in there like, okay, what's going on? Let's look at what's wrong here. Okay, let's bring that up. So it looks like you guys, um, there was something about avoiding something, something that you felt was confusing. So you're trying to do some ser soul searching to look at the finer details of the situation using your intuition. You're concerned that you miss some type of opportunity here or you're missing something, something's hidden to you. You could be overthinking it as well. Cause Scorpio does, is a sign of like obsessions or passion or you know something that's hidden or secret. So let's just get more information here, Scorpio. But it seems more, it's more based on like your emotions and what's going on with things that you feel like you're avoiding. So how's Scorpio's astrology being affected for December 12th to the 5th? Show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. Yeah, it's definitely a very spiritual time for you guys because I see like, um, well, that makes sense, Pisces, Jupiter. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, some kind of blessing, some kind of good fortune around this situation that you avoid it. And we see 11th house, which definitely deals with um, nonprofit work, groups of people, right? Humanity as a whole. Something about your hopes and wishes. Now, that also makes sense too, because also K2 is in your 11th house. You Maybe you're dealing with a lot of people from the past, network circles and stuff like that. And then we got the sixth house. So there's a, there's definitely a lot of healing going on right now for you guys with the sixth house energy. I get the sense it's more, more of a psychological healing because as I said, a lot of signs are dealing with that aspect of 
you know, things are coming up, especially if we're talking about around the holidays. Yeah. So, or you guys are really getting your health in order too. So it looks like there's some blessings coming in because you're dealing with some of your network circles or you're, you're actually fulfilling a desire that you've always had also, because that's the wishes fulfillment house in health, healing and or helping others. It seems like you guys were a little confused at first of what to do, or maybe you were avoiding that situation, but you're like, you know, it's really the, the right thing to do spiritually. You're looking at it and you're like, kind of like, you know, maybe I should revisit this and you start to look deeper within the situation and something comes to light for you. It's like almost like you're getting a lot of information, knowledge to help you, to heal you um, in your intuition. It's also helping your intuition or you're, you're really listening to that intuitive message there. So it seems like uh, there's definitely some offers lining up for you with that Four of Cups energy, but maybe at, at, towards the end of this, you start to get a little bit overwhelmed with that Four of Cups energy. What's, what's that about? So we see actions of love being taken and a lot of analyzing going on with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, you're healing, Six of Swords. There's a, there's a sense of overcoming obstacles, blockages with the Six of Swords energy. Um, we'll go further here, Scorpio. Yeah, there were some worries and concerns about your sense of confusion. And we see, again, Temperance talking about healing. And it looks like this situation is going to bring um, Ten of Cups long-term emotional fulfillment here. Okay. And Neptune shows something unusual, maybe rosy colored glasses, listening to your intuition when it comes to these deeper aspects of things, Scorpio energy. Thank you, Spirit. Confirmation. Okay. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Scorpios? When it comes to their astrology, December 12th to the 25th of, uh, for their highest best, for the best possible for them, what should they do? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look. So it's, it is about you inspiring others. You're inspiring others by what you're doing or what you're about to do. You've learned a lot from your mistakes, okay? I know uh, before it went one way, now you're looking at it and you're like, okay, am I gonna make the same mistakes? No, you've learned a lot. Give without expectations, okay? So it looks like you're dealing with your network circle, uh, you're dealing with the public, you're dealing with a group of people, right? You're, you're networking there, okay, because that's 11th house. And, say, and saying, yeah, just do it, charitable. It's giving without expectations around this. Express your feelings and uh, practice moderation. And anyone that you feel is not really serving you, um, of course, release any toxic relationships, okay? Trust your intuition on this. It's about you feeling happy and joyful about what you're doing here and bringing love into your energy, right? So if there's a, somebody in your network circle that is maybe not, it's, you know, it's kind of toxic, you know, you wanna, you wanna not deal with that person. So. You know your truth, okay? Yeah, you're here for a reason. Okay, yes, you know Scorpios are old souls, okay? You guys are old souls. You've been here, you've done that. You've been here, you've done that, okay? You you know it. You got that, you got that old soul going on. Okay, Scorpio is a very karmic sign, that, and that's how you know you can handle it. Your whole purpose right now is, well, your whole purpose is a Scorpio energy is to rise above your fears and surrender and be like the phoenix. So you go through all these profound changes all the time. Okay, so let's move into your romantic love life. All right, so I was gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life for December 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, current situation. Oh, God, the Hermer card's coming out again. Okay, let's uh, lay down all the cards and we're gonna go over everything here. Okay. Now come. I hear shine bright, Scorpio. So, this full card could be saying someone new could be coming towards you or someone is about to take a risk, 
a gamble on the situation. Let's see what that's about. So you guys are seeing some signs here. Hermit card energy is coming out. You're seeing some kind of sign, something is coming to light. You're seeing something deeper about a situation that you didn't see before. Okay, so you're, you're digging deep on this with the hermit card energy. You're getting to the bottom of something from before, okay? It's coming to light now. Something that you needed answers about is about to come to light. Now, this is the current, so if it isn't happening yet, it's going to start to happen, okay? Because do remember that you do have Rahu in Pisces, so uh, they will bring up stuff from before. And obviously, Pisces is a very spiritual sign, but it also talks about past life. It also talks about subconscious mind, so there may be some stuff coming up. Okay, so I have my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life, December 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. <laughs> the butterfly. Profound changes. Massive changes coming in. Okay. Massive changes. Let's see what that massive change is about. I'm just going to find Scorpio's Romantic Love Life December 12th to the 25th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's these massive changes? Healing. Wow, your astrology is matching your, your romantic love life. Okay, so let's keep going. What's that by Scorpio's romantic love life? December 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's going on here? So you're starting to really analyze a situation where... Uh, you felt like it wasn't it, it it wasn't coming out as it saw as you thought okay or 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 around somebody who may have not told you something like or you felt like somebody was lying to you I well see that's a that's a thing I know you guys are very intuitive sign I tell you all the time you guys are the natural psychics okay you got you're the sexy sign but you're also the psychics okay so that's why it's not a good idea if people do lie to you because you already pick up on stuff. And I see that the hermit card's coming out and it's showing me that you guys are looking deeper at a situation and you're figuring it out. Because what does Scorpio do? You guys are, are good investigators, okay? <laughs> you could get in there and you could be like, hmm, what's going on here? I see exactly what's going on here. Because you get obsessed with things until you find the answer. Mm-hmm. And that's what's going on there. You're like, they didn't tell me the truth about this. I see some details here that are off. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so what's going on my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life? December 12th to the 25th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And this, it is about love. Okay, so it is somebody that there's love here with. Okay. You're digging down to the details here. So what's the blockage? Six of wands, the six of wands is the blockage. So maybe you feel like this person's not giving you the attention with the six of wands energy or the recognition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. There's a cautiousness, a defensive energy here and concerns about something ending. Yeah, there's still a lack of healing here, okay? And you feeling stuck and stagnant with someone. Like you're stuck in the middle, something stuck about a situation. Okay, what's going to be influences? Four of Cups, interesting. Four of Cups also came out for your astrology as well. So Four of Cups, so when, you're, when, so when, the, when it comes up a couple of times, cards come up a couple of times, you know it's meant for you. Okay, so... Four of Cups could be talking about your influence is concerns about missing an opportunity or there's opportunities coming towards you that maybe at this time you're just not, eh, I'm not interested, I'm not interested, I'm not interested in that. Okay, so uh, let's keep going. What are you not seeing? You're not seeing that there's something hidden beneath the surface, really deception cards coming out, confusions. You're not seeing about something confusion, something confusion. You're not paying attention to your dreams. Scorpio, you guys get visions, you get dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. What are you not seeing around this dream here? Okay, so let's keep going. 
it looks like there is something hidden yet or something confusing, but there is about to be a message that you guys are going to receive. Someone's going to show up here. Oh, wow. They're going to show up at a house. Huh? Something they're not seeing. Something is confusing about some kind of house news or message, which is leaving you at a crossroads or choice that's about to be made. Oh, wow. This is a blessing, actually, Scorpio. There's actually a blessing happening here. You're not seeing a situation around some kind of confusions or someone's not telling you the whole truth about really what's going on in their house situation or house home family situation. And uh, it looks like you're going to receive some kind of news soon about these indecisions. And actually, there's a blessing around this situation because you're kind of wondering, I feel like in the current, like, I thought I saw it this way, but they're coming off that way. What is really going on here? Because I'm really puzzled. And you're digging, 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 and you're, you're looking into your, your subconscious mind. You're, you're analyzing the situation. You're trying to look at the details of it. What happened in the past? Okay, we got the Emperor card. Uh, so there was somebody who was very standoffish that tried to maintain some type of control. Okay, what is that about? Yeah, it made you feel like trapped in your thoughts. There was this isolation or separation from somebody. Hmm. Possibly some of you guys, there was this isolation or separation, a sense of loneliness, uh, or you weren't aware maybe that this person was single and available to pursue. You felt there was some kind of truth about love or they weren't single and available to pursue for some of you guys, or there was a far away distant energy. Hmm. Okay, what's your advice so far? Let's just see. Knight of Wands, ooh. Okay, don't, Scorpio, you're the sexy sign. All right. Um, so be cognizant that the Knight of Wands is coming out means passion exercises. Okay, so I would say that's advice. So it's saying, okay, so listen to your heart, pay attention to your intuition, I know there's a, a sense of wanting to take an abrupt action there, uh, a passionate action there. Okay, so let's see who's coming towards you. Interesting, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone that's coming towards you wants to speak to you about something. This person wants to speak to you about an infringing party in delays and challenges. And telling you to be patient and it's going to be real with you. It's going to be pure in their intentions. They're going to be honest in their intentions. Hmm. The way I'm saying whom is because you obviously feel that something about the situation, someone's lying to you. That it's not as it seems. But you're right though, Scorpio, because technically there's a blessing here because you're not seeing something about the situation. They're not seeing something about the situation, but it looks like you're about to find out. And your other reading, I feel like, what was it? Was the weeklies or was it the monthlies? Something about this. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so far, what do we got? What do we got here? Let's go to the, let's see the happening in the immediate future here. Okay, the immediate future is someone's gonna fight for this connection against these other people, maybe family members, friends. Okay, so let's see what that's about. There's somebody who feels bad about the situation. I feel like somehow I feel that this person feels that they feel like someone took advantage of you. Maybe somebody talked about you behind your back or something. Hmm. Yeah, there's people here, people. And there were some concerns about new love, offer of love, renewed love, ace of cups energy. Maybe the people said to this person that, you know, you should go with a new person, be with a new person. It looks like the risk is going to be taken here. Ooh, is this a family situation that you guys can let me know in the comments below. Is this a family situation where they didn't really agree with you being with this person? Huh? Okay. So 
someone's going to be pure in their intentions and speak a truth to you and there's a blessing coming in and a risk that will be taken. The blockage is this stuck, stagnant energy, but we see that there's love here in the current. And someone who's trying to be pure in their intentions. Dogs do represent loyalty, devotion, friend. Let's get going here. Let's also, um, let's also look at some more about what's going on with this situation as well. Also, let's, let's, uh, so it seems to be confusion for the blockage. Okay. Uh, so let's go further here. So I see that the advice, there's some kind of passionate situation potentially here as the advice is saying, be happy, joyful. There's something about somebody longing, missing, and you're about to have a lot of enjoyment. Hmm. Okay. So we see the current situation going on. Someone isn't being completely honest. And there's some indecision, single and available to pursue, confusions because of potential new love. Maybe they feel like you have new love. Uh, and there's a waiting around to see what, what is gonna happen. Okay. Let's get keep it going. All right, so central theme is healing. Delays and challenges, single and available to pursue, family, home, and people. Some of these Scorpios may have more than one choice, but I feel like it's more like people that are kind of like infringing upon the situation. There's massive change coming in here. Uh, and we see there's some kind of infringing party self-doubt about somebody feels like their hands are tied, but we see that there's going to be some good news coming in about regrets. Okay, so speaking a truth, someone's making a power move. There's something hidden beneath the surface here. Someone will fight for this situation. I see the blockage is cautiousness. Okay. I don't feel like you guys are seeing the victory though, because of the fact that there is this lack of attention, uh, lack of recognition, because you're still a little cautious about the whole situation, but let's, let's keep going. So soul searching going on about this truth, power move being made, something hidden, lying, deceptive, somebody wants to defend their position. Okay, let's keep going. So coming to the advice, there's something about this Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and a joyful energy and we see travel and we see something very uh, pleasurable coming in here. Okay, so coming up here. Okay, let's keep going. So moving this out of the way, influence, four of cups, and lying deception again. Um, we see romance, people. Uh, you're definitely looking very attractive, Scorpio, because actually the influence is the fact that you are a swan. There, you're a beautiful swan and you are being noticed. And I do feel like some of this four cups could be because somebody doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. And they're not being honest about this romance because of people involved. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Cause also there's a need to stand up for a situation. Okay. So what's the key to solving your problem? Well, that, that makes sense, yeah. The key to solving your problem when it comes to romantic love life is focus on your happiness. Because remember, nobody makes you happy, Scorpio. You make yourself happy. You have the key to your own happiness. Okay. And also, who do you want loyalty and devotion from, right? Focus on happiness and be loyal and devoted to happiness and your heart emotions and listen to your intuition. Don't let other people influence you in what you want to do, 
okay, if the people around you are the ones that's, that's doing that. Okay, so don't let other people influence you. You gotta follow your heart, listen to your intuition. We all know what's best for us. Focus on loyalty and devotion. All right, now let's see the outcome here. Okay, let's see the outcome. Five of Swords. Wow, Twin Flames cards coming out. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so what do we got here? There's this defeated energy and somebody feels like they're doing some kind of, I feel like a self-sacrifice there. Like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't want to do anything. But we see that there is this relationship, this twin flame soulmate relationship. And I know you guys are gonna ask me, are twin flames real? Yes, twin flames are real. You guys can do your own research on this. You don't have to take my word for it. This is an old, old term. It's not flames, by the way, it's twin souls. So when you research it, look up twin souls, you're going to see that there is a lot of information about it. And Edgar Gacy talked about it. And there's a lot of other cultures that talked about it. So it is an old term and it is real. So, because we live in the realm of Venus, which is masculine, feminine energy. Okay. So, and yin and yang, that's another thing too. So there's defeated energy and we see there's this relationship here. So somebody is definitely wanting to be with you in this relationship. And it looks like there's effort being put into it because uh, definitely uh, someone who is going to put effort into it. But at first it seems like it's a little bit, I don't know what to do, I wanna give up. Okay, so it's a friend and it looks like the positive turn of events are gonna happen. And we see blessings again. I told you you're not seeing the blessings, but the blessings are coming. The blessings are coming. The blessings are coming. Okay, so we got this friend again. Double clarification, friend. About to be happy, sun card energy, about this good news. So you're about to receive some good news about this friend. They may be traveling towards you, and it looks like forgiveness is gonna happen, and they're gonna clear the air, okay? Something is gonna, uh, they're gonna clear the air about what happened. Okay, going further on this, there's stress and worry, but hopeful energy, star card, about this communication. So it's gonna be hopeful communication, and you're gonna find out about this defeated energy, about this stress, about this situation when it came to this travel. And I feel like when I'm looking at the, the fact that this looks like a plane, but it's a bird, you're gonna see the bigger picture of the situation. And there's gonna be a forgiveness because there's gonna be a clearing of the air here. And that also seems like, if you guys are cross watching, you know what I'm talking about. So it's saying someone wants to go to the flow, go with the flow here, and you're gonna overcome obstacles, blockages. So whatever's been blocking you guys, you have, you're, gonna, you're gonna go right through it. You're gonna be fine. You found your path, okay? You're gonna feel secure and safe in this situation because there is a depth of emotions that you're gonna discover about this person. And there's this patient energy and it, it possibly someone could be like, be patient, I'm gonna you know, travel towards you, or I wanna invest time in this connection because I need to heal this situation. I need to fix this situation, okay. So going further here using the Tarot, there's going to be a, a juggling of a schedule because of this potential offer opportunity. And we see there's, you're definitely gonna be really contemplating your emotions with that Queen of Cups energy. Um, we see there's going to be a sense of confusion about how this is all going to come together. And it does look like your ships are coming in here. Uh, but it does look like you may lose patience a little bit with that five of pentacles being there. Um, or someone spending money because uh, something you've been waiting for is going to happen. Uh, we see that there's going to be this wise decision when it comes to money, family, children, long term. And we see there's something to do with a commitment, engagement, marriage, and strength. You're going to gain your confidence around that. Okay. So it looks like a commitment may be being offered here uh, with this friend because the timing is right now. So we see communication, letter, message, document. I want to be with you. Yep. They're saying, I want to be with you. You're going to get knowledge of it. It's a blessing. Okay. So let's move this out of the way and let's get you guys some advice. Okay. Can I have some advice for my Scorpios? When it comes to romantic love life, for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them, December 12th to the 25th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
Pay attention to the signs, Scorpio. The, I know the most difficult thing for Scorpios is surrendering control because you guys want control, but you got to let go. Everything is indeed out of your control, okay? This is your path, so trust. Okay, trust this is your path. <laughs> I like the fact that the humility card is coming out. Why? Because it shows me that you guys, your confidence is going to be go onto the roof. It's going to go to the roof. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, it's the humility. Let go of your path. Humility. Okay. You have worth and value. Mm -hmm. You're going you're gonna to realize your worth and value. Mm -hmm. Be outrageously open. Yes, right now. <laughs> There's going to be a deepening. So surrender to this. Because uh, this is also about finding self-love within you, okay? So knowing your value and your worth. There's going to be companionship coming in. Get ready to receive. And uh, use this as a part of your inner power. Okay. Again, what did I say? Look at the signs, Scorpio. Uh huh. Okay. The blessings are coming. You, Scorpio, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon. There's multiple things you guys will go check out right now. I got the monthlies up. I got the weeklies up, which is your day today. Uh, I got their true feelings up, true intentions. I'm going to uh, do another true intentions reads. Um, I have the astrology video up for 2024 for the, the world. Um, that was the interview that I just did with Laura. Um, and there's multiple things for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.